So here I am, getting ready to start planting. I'm gonna plant inside these beds in the cattle panel greenhouse. Um, it's actually a tunnel, not really a greenhouse, but the reason it makes it a tunnel is because you're growing in the ground. You're uh, growing for food, not for uh, selling plants and whatnot. So it's not technically a greenhouse, but a tunnel. Um, so getting ready to put in some bunching onions. We started them from seed probably a month or something ago. Um, you've seen a video, a couple of videos back. I started some lettuce and lettuce and spinach. I'll put those in probably in the next couple of days. They're not quite ready yet, but they're soon to be. Um, so what I did so far was that, that right there where that green mark is from there back on this side has turnips salad turnips, hawk rye turnips, they're really good. They're kind of like a radish, they're white, and they're a little spicy like a, like a radish, but they're turnips. Um, and then here on this side, from right there to that splice in the cattle pan, where, where that zip tie is, from here, from there back on this side, is uh, radishes that I'd planted. Um, I used a cedar to plant those, I should have videoed it, but I never. So, right now I'm gonna start putting in these out these is pretty simple to put in I want to uh, go get something to lay out the hole spacings and I'll be right back okay I'm back the onions are all in I'll put them all in I uh, did a lot of it off camera but you don't want to see the same thing over and over and over again. It's repetitive, so I know you don't want to watch that. I'm going to get the spinach out and put them right there in this area. Um, actually, the wife's down in the greenhouse right now popping them out of their, out of their cells. So, uh, in a week or two, the lettuce will go in this side, and the kales and the mustard greens will all go over here from there out to the end. Um, I don't know for sure when, but I need to get a door put on this before, before it gets too cold. Um, you didn't see you can see i didn't get that done yet but that'll be in a future video but i need to get this stuff in the ground first it's soon gonna it's soon gonna be winter and i gotta have food in the ground i uh, gotta eat all winter long right you can't just eat in the summer and not eat nothing in the winter you can't put you can't put lettuce and stuff away if you if you don't grow it yourself you're gonna they're gonna haul it in from california or who knows where so you ain't, you ain't doing nothing to, for yourself that way if you haul it, let them haul it in from California and buy it from China or wherever they buy it from. So, grow your own. It's better anyhow. Or support a local farmer. So, either way, so I'll get the spinach and put them in. So there's all the spinach. You see me watering it a second ago. Spinach is in, onions are in. And like I said earlier, this is turnips on this side. So in a few days, I'll uh, get the lettuce and kale and mustard greens over here planted. Um, I'm not sure when that'll be, but for you all, it'll only be a couple seconds. For me, it'll be at least a week probably yet, but we'll see. Okay, so here I am out in the greenhouse getting ready to pop, this, pop the plugs out, lettuce plugs out of the cell tray and take them up to the to the uh, cattle panel greenhouse and plant them. This this lettuce was planted on 914 in the seat trays. Um, actually, it was a Tuesday tip of the week video that I had done a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna pop them out of here and take them up and plant them in the cattle panel greenhouse so here we go all right so um to pop these out all i do there, there's holes in the bottom of these right all right yeah little round holes um they gotta be pretty moist when you do it i just grab a little round thing I always put them in these when i'm done pop them out of there so when you're in the garden you just grab them out and stick them in the ground it's way easier than popping them out at at the garden so all you gotta do is just push it up in the middle pull them out and they make pretty good plugs there's three seeds in that one looks like three seeds germinated um 
The roots are just starting to wrap. Actually, I should have. I should have probably planted these, pulled these out, of, probably a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. Because you really don't want them to start wrapping before you put them in the garden. Um, it happens sometimes. You get busy, but it's time to get these out of here. So I'm gonna pop these out and just lay them in here. Then I'll take this up and put them in the ground. So stick around. And we'll stick around and I'll uh, show you the next step. Okay, there's the lettuces that you just saw me pull out of the plug cells. Um, last Wednesday, which was September 29th, I put radishes in this bed. Some of them's coming up and there's some weeds coming up too. The weeds are fairly easy when they're little like that to pull out. Um, I've been watering, watering this soil because it was extremely dry, so that makes the weeds a little bit harder to pull, but still not too bad. Um, I'll still get them out here yet this evening. Um, and also last Thursday, which was October, uh, no, September 30th, sorry. I put onions and spinach in this bed over here. Um, you saw that, that's earlier in this video. Um, and on Wednesday, the 29th of September, I put turnips in this bed, in this, in this section. Um, and they're coming up good. I don't know why they're so much better than the than what the radishes are, but they are. Um, anyhow, there's some weeds coming up in there too, but for the most part, those are what you see on the camera, for the most part, is turnips. They're not all turnips, there's some weeds in there, but I'll get those cool. Onions there, spinach there. This will be radishes there, and from, from right here down to here, will be lettuce and from here out will be um, mustard greens and kale um the mustard greens are ready to put out but the kale's not yet so um i'm not 100 sure if i'll get the kale out or not but it may not get it may not get put in with the which that's fine i got plenty of kale in the big garden it'll be in there all winter so it'll, it'll survive out in the snow and cold it won't hurt it any well, it'll stun it, but it won't kill it. So, um, I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and get started. Okay, so when you put these in, you just stick it in the hole that you previously just poked, and you push it down in, right? You don't cover the, you don't fill the hole in, you just push this in. Just like I showed you in the er, earlier in this video. Um, just push it in. They'll, uh, the holes are fine if they're bigger. It doesn't matter, deeper. And you can't go extremely deep. But you need to be just a little deeper than what the original root ball was. Let me move you a little closer. Um, you need to be, you need to be a little deeper than what the root ball originally was. I mean, you're down in the ground probably a half an inch or something. So, just push it down in, make sure it's pushed in tight. And uh, for this, I'll start on this end and I'll work my way that way. The reason is, is because if I don't have enough lettuce to fill in all the holes, I don't have half of it done and one row done and that's it. So I'll start here and work my way that way. All right, so the lettuce is done. It's in the ground. Um, in a few weeks it'll start taking off really good and here it, it'll be about to say within by the end of october it's going to be really nice um since the weather's cooling off it'll grow good um i had to go get four more pieces because i didn't have enough poked out but i went and got four more i actually grew a whole nother flat so i have another flat i could almost a lot of them didn't come up um i could almost fill that in with lettuce but i'm not gonna um the mustard I'm going to put in, I'm not sure when, I'll let it go for another couple days. Um, I'd like the kales to come in, but if the kales don't soon start popping up, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put, put the mustard on, on that end, and I'm going to finish filling that in with lettuce. Um, and if, if I don't need all the lettuce that I got started, I'll probably 
I may do a giveaway on the lettuce that I have started if somebody wants it for for their uh, winter garden. Um, they have to be local, but if I do that, I'll go through the stipulations with it. So that's all you got to do. Um, that stuff will truly it will grow this winter. Um, so we'll have lettuce and spinach and onions all winter long. Um, and we'll probably sell some. We'll post it on Facebook and Instagram when we're selling. So anybody local that wants any salad greens this winter, whenever we're ready to start selling, let us know. We'll uh, post it when we're ready to. Um, so that's gonna, I'm gonna close this video out. There's still some more stuff I need to do in here and I need to finish, I need to finish putting the uh, end on. This end still just plant back like it was the last time I did a video on the cattle plant or greenhouse. So, and it's still warm enough. I'm not worried too much about it yet, but in the next few weeks, I'm gonna have to do something with it. Um, because it, our average first frost is October 10th. Today is the 6th, so four more days, but they're calling for nice weather the next 10 days is still warm. So I'm not worried too much about it, the 10 day forecast. So anyways, I'm gonna close out. Till we meet again, take care and God bless.